Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this video, we are going, going to learn how to use uh, parameters in Ansys Fluent and we will uh, do the simple 2D analysis of the 3 way pipe in Ansys Fluent. So, let's start. First of all, we will make the geometry. Go to design modeler geometry. So, now I will select XY plane and we will go to sketch normal to the plane. And now we will draw the three way pipe in the 2D. So, for that, go to sketching, select line command, make vertical line, go to dimension, give it the dimension of V1 is equal to 5 meter. Okay. Now, again, go to sketching. Select the line and again make the horizontal line. Now from here we are going to make a Y shape. When you will make the shape, after that we will edit it or you can edit the dimensions of this so now we will select this line and we will go to dimension general dimension so the, our dimension is 20 meter select this dimension also of 20 meter from here to here give it 2.5 mm 2.5 meter give it uh, L 5 length 5 of 2.5 meter So now again we will draw the line and make it parallel. Select the dimension and from here give it the dimension of 2.5. So now you can see that our model has been ready. Now we will convert into it into surface so that we can get the geometry for our 2D. So select this and hold control and select all these lines. Apply generate. So now you can see that our surface has been ready for the analysis. So our geometry is ready. So now you can see that our geometry has been imported into the mesh. Now what we will do is we will go to mesh and simply generate the default mesh. So if you want to refine your mesh, you can simply refine by decreasing the element size if it does not fail. So you can see that our mesh has been refined. Now what we will do is we are going to apply insulation layers for the boundary so select the geometry and from here select these outer walls don't select the openings because this is just for the boundary generate operation layers so now you can see that here we have two layers of insulation so now our geometry has been ready for the analysis we will give now we will give name selections input output or inlet or outlet or wall so we will select this edge and we will give it select ok and 
these two are our outlet so we will give it outlet 2 and we will give it outlet 1 so our now we will give the wall selection for that select these all edges of the boundary wall go to create name selection and select wall again go to generate and now you can see that your name selections have been applied now we will simply go to the setup for the float flow plate go to edit from here select double precision and if you have quad core processor CPU you can select 4 processor if you are octa core you can select 8 processor and select start so now you can see that our symmetry has been loaded this blue line is our inlet and these two red lines are our outlet so what we will do is our surface body we will first of all go to perform mesh check to see our mesh so you can see that from here face area statistics and checking mesh is done so if you want to improve the quality of your mesh you you can simply go to evaluate mesh quality and you can see the maximum aspect ratio from this if it is not in the desired maximum aspect ratio you can simply go to improve mesh quality so now we will go to physics and we will simply go to the turbulence model so the turbulence model we are going to select is k epsilon with standard wall function select ok and we will add material as you can see that material type is air by default but we will select water from the fluent database water liquid copy and close so now what we will do is we will edit cell zone condition the cell zone condition our surface body is in fluid it is ok now we will go to inlet now what we will do is we will go to the inlet and go to edit in this option option you will see 40 meter per second to set this velocity inlet your parameter you will simply go to this arrow and select new input parameter expression and your parameter is 40 meter per second select ok so you can see from here that velocity magnitude parameter 1 has been selected so select ok so now we will go to the outlet this is our outlet 1 which is this and it is the pressure opening it is ok and go to the wall if you want to give some certain temperature to the wall or something else you will on this energy value select ok now simply go to the initialization and initialize it now we will go to the run calculation Give 50 iterations here. Calculate. Now what we will do is our calculation has been completed. Now we will simply go to the result, which is our CFD post processing. So we can apply the parameter from there. So this is our geometry. Now we will analyze the pressure outlet. So for that we will insert the plane in the XY. Select the apply and go to control select ok and we will apply the pressure apply at plane 1 ok so now you can see that the fluid is distributing from this 
middle point so therefore there is a small pressure and these edges are not filled that way these edges have more pressure as you can see in the controls now if we go to velocity we will select apply and you can see the velocity too so what we will do is now we will go to expressions right click on it and select new so to apply the parameters or expression we will just go to new and we will select outlet velocity 1 select ok from here go to functions and select area a from here we will select the velocity and after and after this add we will select our location outlet 1 select apply so now you can see that our outlet velocity at 1 is 40.4598 so our expression has been calculated now we will again go to new outlet 2 select ok again go to functions and apply this from here we will select the velocity and after add sign we will select the location of outlet to apply so you can see that our velocity at outlet 2 has been calculated now what we will do is we will go to outlet velocity we will select the right click and we will use use as a workbench output parameter we are not going to select as input parameter because this is our result so we will select it as a output parameter and again for outlet to use workbench output parameter so now what we will do is we will go back to our table and from here you can see that our parameters have been set it so after that you can see there are one design point and other two are outlet velocities so we can change the velocity from here stack 30 we want to see the result on 20 velocity and we will see the outlet velocity so what we will do is update all design point yes so wait while it has been updated Design points have been calculated. We have got the result on 40, 30, and 20 meter per second. You don't have to do the study again and again with everything new. So this is the advantage of the parametric study. So this was the tutorial on how to set parameters in ANSYS Fluent. Keep watching and keep sharing our videos.